Hola, baby achis. Do you like that? I just kind of came up with that recently and I'm honestly kind of digging it. So y'all are my baby achis from now on. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I have a really, really awesome video planned for you today. It's been a while, I know, since I've seen all of you. I've honestly just kind of been conserving my energy and focusing on what I love to do. And unfortunately, YouTube has just kind of come to a halt, but we're back for now. Um, I'm kind of like erratic in that way. Regarding La Mas Draga reviews, let me just tell you, it, it it's a lot. It's a lot to edit those reviews, all the effects, all the transitions that you saw, all the overlays, all the video, it's a lot. I had so much fun doing it. However, to be quite honest, during Mercury Retrograde, a lot of stuff, a lot of bookings that I had for, for drag queens fell through and I was just like, you know what? I feel like I'm trying a little too hard and I really shouldn't be. It's kind of getting stressful. So I'm just gonna like table it for now. Here's the thing though, they will still go up at some point. The great thing about La Madraga is that it's on YouTube. So I can literally do it whenever I want. So I'm really happy about that. Um, what does that mean? That means that I will have a review here and there coming out of like, episode from the season and not every week like I planned. I might do one for sure for the finale with some special guests, but uh, stay tuned. Anyway, I have a lot of drag performers planned to make reviews for the La Masaraga, so get excited for that. Stay tuned, subscribe, click the notification bell, and let's get on with the video. Now today's video, I'm gonna do my everyday makeup routine, except it's not so everyday, but I tried something new and I think it's gonna become my everyday. This is like a soft-ish glam kind of like neutral look. And today's video is actually really, really special because if you saw in the title, the products that I use today are actually gonna be part of a massive giveaway at the end of this video. So keep on watching, stay tuned, don't skip, please because this is a really fun video. I share some really cool tips. I'm sharing some really cool products and like kind of like a mini review, kind of like an all encapsulating kind of catch up video. So it's a good time. Just watch. I love you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step in this makeup tutorial is actually taking off my makeup that I have on now. I'm gonna be using the Bliss Makeup Melt Wipes. These literally are a freaking dream. These wipes take off literally all of my makeup, my mascara, all of my foundation. They get in my nooks and crannies. And like when I face wash afterwards, there's like minimal makeup left. I don't know how it happens. This is oil free, it's cruelty free, and they have chamomile. They smell so good. They feel amazing on your face. It's so weird though. Like you use them and here, let me just show you. So we're gonna say bye to these lashes. Not me de-dragging right in front of the camera, honey. Wow, lashes do a lot. We're gonna take one of these wipes. They smell, okay, they smell so good. They're so like wet. Oh, here, let me just, actually, let me bring you in. So here, I'm gonna do like a close up of me taking off this makeup, okay? You ready? I know I shouldn't like be so hard on my eye area. I just like, I'm just so used to it sometimes. Take off my eyebrow, take off my foundation. I can already see all the makeup that this wipe is taking off. Look, look at that. Do you see that? I'm just going around the perimeter of my face. I like to take my face off in halves for some reason. Just, I feel like I like seeing the comparison at the end, like when I take the whole half off. It's like, oh, that's what I look like. Yeah, no, like dead ass, I literally take off like an entire half of my face first. Also, cause I like to use each side of the makeup wipe, you know, so like fully, just so that there's no like waste or anything. So for me, the, the worst part about taking off makeup is like the mascara and the under eye area. And let me tell you, these wipes take off literally everything. Look at that. Like, it, on, it doesn't even look like there's much makeup on here, does it? I think that's the weirdest part, but like, see all this makeup on this side? It's all gone. It's literally all gone. I'm gonna take off the other half and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm pretty much done taking all of this off. Obviously it doesn't take everything off. I'm still gonna go in with like some face wash and some toner, you know, to get everything off. But like, y'all like, the thing about these, they do most of the work. Like, and they're so soft on the skin. They feel amazing. They make your skin smell so good. Ugh. Oh my God, it's such a dream. Sometimes I don't even wanna stop taking my makeup off just cause they smell so good. Ah, uh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna go wash my face and then I'll be back so we can start the makeup. Ah, uh, okay, wow, that feels so nice. Okay, obviously I didn't take off my makeup just to like put it all over again. I'm filming this first so that I don't have to do my makeup twice, but imagine 
But y'all, those wipes really do a lot, so I would definitely recommend them. And they are one of the many prizes of this giveaway, so stay tuned. All right, now that we're bare, uh, let's start off with eyebrows. I always start off with eyebrows. First, though, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my saco because it's black and it gets powdery. I just don't want to get dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the moño, too, while I'm at it, just because it's like, bleh, you know? Ugh. Ooh, so much better. Now, these aren't in the giveaway, but I've been trying these new uh, NYX eyebrow products, and they're really good. This one is like a fluffy filler kind of one, and this is like a more precise one. And I have to say, they are really good replacements for what I was using before. I'm just gonna go ahead and do them off camera, so I'll be right back. All right, now let's get started with the actual makeup. So another thing that is in this giveaway is this e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. So this primer is honestly like my favorite because it just really gets your eyeshadow to stick and to show up on your eye and it lasts all day. You can use it for cut creases, it's so versatile. And there's like a pretty hefty amount. Like this is just honestly like the perfect consistency for an eye primer and the best part, it's $5. Like you, ugh, yes. I just go in with my finger and I just like basically cover my whole eye in it. And this is my favorite color. I feel like it's the most universal color in their shade range. I haven't tried the deeper shades. So if you're a deeper skin queen than me, let me know how those are for you. But I feel like this one rose is just super universal. It's super like, it's so versatile. Like it leaves your, your eye looking like this, but once you put the shadows, once you blend it all out, it blends, oh my God, it makes eyeshadow blend like a dream. I'm, I swear, like, this is not sponsored by e.l.f. I just really freaking love this primer. And so this is basically just what I do, like, literally douse my whole surrounding area in it. And I do end up looking like a ghost. But this is, this is what you want. You gotta make the faces too. I was watching Robert Welsh. He is this amazing makeup artist on YouTube and he always gives really good tips. He uses the Sigma eye primers. Those are really good too. And I did a comparison one time and I just, for the price, like you really can't beat e.l.f. And they hold up pretty well to Sigma. Sigma's really good. I feel like Sigma is maybe for people with not as hooded eyes. My eyes are like totes hooded. So like, I really need something that will not crease like, like ever. The e.l.f., like if you let it dry down, it's super waxy, it's super, it just gives you the perfect base for your eyeshadow. And like, I will never shut up about it. Like, I will literally never shut up about it. Now sometimes, I don't do this all the time, but I just kind of like do this, just to make sure that it's dry. I just get this big ass fan, just make sure that everything around it is dry. Sometimes it does get onto my eyelashes and bottom lashes, but honestly, it's a primer and it's like waxy, it adds thickness, so if anything, you're just kind of adding primer to your lashes for the mascara. So it's not the worst thing. I'm not even trying to like sell it at this point. Like it really is just like, like there's really no cons about it. Sorry. Alrighty, now my favorite part is the eyeshadow. And yes, I do do my eyeshadow first before my base. Another tip that Robert Welsh gave. And today I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Garden Variety Palette. This palette is just so cute. Like it's succulent themed and it's got like really cute accents. Like the succulents are on the packaging and they're like bubble raised. And it has this really cute detail on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, I forgot what they call it. It's like invisible, invisible ink or something. I don't know. There's like a design on it and it like shines in the light. And it's, ugh, it's just so cute. The only thing is that there's no freaking mirror. ColourPop has been making these palettes without freaking mirrors. And I'm just like, sis, I need to see myself. I don't know, but I got this palette. I don't know, something about like, literally, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I got it for this green, just in the middle of this whole like sea of like warm neutrals. I will not be giving away this palette in the giveaway. I will be giving away something a lot cooler from ColourPop, but it is warm neutrals, like nudes kind of colors. And so I thought this palette was like the best one to like kind of represent their uh, matte nudes. So we're gonna go ahead and use these today. And of course I try to be as cruelty free and vegan as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and use these Eco Tools brushes. They're dual sided. Let me tell you that these are great to travel with. I keep these in my bag sometimes because you never know when you need some quick little eyeshadow, quick little eye look, a quick little touch up. And these, you know, two brushes in one. It comes with two in the duo pack. So you have four brushes and you just like stick it in your little purse and you're set. So I have four and these are actually also in the giveaway. I'm giving away a set of two of these. You're going to have some bomb eyeshadow, some bomb brushes, some bomb eye primer. Like your base, your eyes are basically just going to look snatched AF. 
All right, enough talk, let's get going. Now, this isn't meant to be like a eyeshadow, like in-depth tutorial, but I'll give you some tips and tricks here and there. I'm really just kind of like, I'm really just kind of trying to get through these products and this look so I can get to the giveaway because I know y'all came for that. So I know what y'all are here for. I won't take too much time, but I am going to have fun. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is just kind of mapping out the little like eye shape that I want and it's this cute flirty like, ooh, it's just gonna be like a soft glam kind of look. So nothing big today. Um, I've actually been really into like softer makeup. Ugh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I really used to do color like hella, but I don't know like once I got on like the warm nudes, the browns, like the taupes, the mauves, oh, I don't know what it is, but once I got into it, I was just like, I was like, honey, I'm trying to look snatched and natural, but still fierce, you know? Uh, I don't know what it is. I basically took kind of like a darkish mid-tone color and I just like outlined that shape that I wanted and I just went ahead and patted. Okay, on the edge, I kind of flicked it upwards, but not too much blending because otherwise it's gonna look muddy. You use a blending brush to do the blending. What a concept. Oh my God, I'm so mean. But yeah, so now I'm gonna use this blendy kind of side to basically just blend it out. So I'm gonna just get a little closer to the camera. So if you can see, I'm just kind of going around this whole part in like little circular motions, just blending. I'm no professional, but I do come close. And really that's all what makeup is, it's just, more than anything, it's the blend. And so there's many ways of like going about the different shades that you're gonna go through in an eye look. A lot of times I've seen people mostly start with the mid-tones. Rarely do you start with the deepest color. Sometimes you can go like light to dark, but like rarely, rarely do you wanna start with the deepest one. So now that we're done with that part, I'm gonna go in with the lightest part. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this like peachy kind of color. You rarely wanna start by like, you know, blending because that just, just just makes it muddy. It just doesn't let the shadows stick, especially if you're wearing primer like I am the e.l.f. putty primer, $5. And then, and you just get more control, like you just get more pigment and you get more control. Like, look at that. I mean, it looks crazy right now, but to get just, just get your blendy brush again, smooth out that edge. And look at that. It's like marrying the two colors together already. Just stay like right under it. And you'll still get that nice gradient. See the difference? Look at that. Harsh, blended. Harsh, blended. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the deepest color. I'm gonna go in with this one, cause look at that. Oh, gorgeous. And for the look that I'm going for, that I usually go for, you really just want it like right on the outside edge. Just keep patting it. Don't ever rub me rubs. Basically just trying to like outline the shape of this cut crease. Cause then once you like draw it, you can literally just paint your cut crease right under it and it just like, it looks, uh, it looks so good. I kind of brought it a little higher up. I'm kind of going for like, I don't know, a higher kind of crease. It's gonna look a little bit more feminine. I don't know, This sometimes my hand just like does what it wants and it ends up looking bomb and I'm like, I'm like, you do use this. <laughs> like, I'm just here to watch. Super smoky. I'm getting smoky in here. Okay, now this part is super simple. You're basically just gonna kind of do the same gradient kind of thing, but on the under eye. Oh, by the way, if you don't know why I tap it on the mirror, it's to remove the excess product because when you pick up eyeshadow, it gets all dusty, right? You don't want all that eyeshadow to go flying on your eye, so you dust it off and then you just get the right amount of eyeshadow left on your brush. Plus, it just feels cool. You're just like, I'm a makeup artist. I've been wearing a lot less like eyeliner and honestly, like Violet Bloom inspired me to like use a lot less eyeliner because she does like the illusion of eyeliner and I really like it. Like one, it eliminates the use of actually using eyeliner and you still get like that smoky effect. And it's just like, you know, eyeliner takes, it can take time and it can take a lot of finessing and precision. And we just sometimes don't have time for that, so. I'd much rather go for the illusion of eyeliner than actually doing eyeliner itself these days. I'm feeling myself so much in this video, okay? I'm sorry, like, I'm not even sorry. Ugh, period. Okay, we're done, I guess, with the mats. Garden variety, get it. Now we're gonna cut the crease. Oh, <gasps> scary, but not scary. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer again because using an eye primer is the best for cut creases and not concealer like you have been taught to do. Yes, actually, and here's the thing. Concealer is a wet makeup. 
to liquid makeup, but it, it like stays wet. It doesn't like dry, right? Even if it's like a matte concealer, it's meant to be somewhat hydrating. It's meant for under the eye. It's meant for concealing and like making places matte. The thing about our eyelids is that they're very oily. Oil breaks down makeup, just period. Like concealer gets broken down and it starts to crease especially if you have hooded eyes like I do and like a lot of us do. So using concealer is not the best because it also just, it's not the best for like blending eyeshadow. What if I set it with powder, you say? Then what's the point? You're putting eyeshadow on top of like a set as if you're like doing it on your face essentially. And then it still creases because there's still oil under there. So like there's just, there's just no point in using concealer unlike, like we've been taught to do, you know, by all the beauty influencers. So just to let you know that using an eye primer is like literally the best way to go because there will be no creasing and you just, your eye makeup's gonna last like all day and like bomb, so. Period. Tell them makeup money actually sent you. I'm using a very special tool. This is the Beauty Bakery uh, concealer brush, the sophisticated concealer brush. Um, and it's such a good brush, y'all. Like it is so round. It's perfect for cut creases. It's like compact, but like flexible. I don't know how they made this freaking brush, but it's so good. This is also in the giveaway. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, you don't wanna like do it in one fell swoop, especially with this primer is like waxy. So you really don't want to like drag it on the first kind of go. So just stamp it. And now I'm just dragging it all over the eyelid because makeup is just contradictory, okay? You just don't do some things and then you just do other things. And that's just how it goes. Yeah, so this crease is a little bit more glam than I maybe intended, but like, look at that, look at that shape. It follows the contour that I set with the eyeshadow perfectly. It's not even gonna end up being that intense, y'all. So trust me, period. Let's go on to the next step. Uh, make sure, like I said, especially on the eyelid to like dry it. That's the thing about just any, just having hooded eyes, anything can crease like that. So you just really gotta make sure, even if it's something that's like anti-creasing, you just gotta make sure like it sets a little bit right before, you know, cause otherwise you're just kind of like putting it on and just like, right away and it's like, no, like, come on, give it time. Give it time to work, honey. All right, so another thing that I have in the giveaway is a hip dot pressed like shimmer shadow palette. It's like a four pan and it's really cute. I just obviously, you know, I, I didn't want to use it. <laughs> There's like dust everywhere. I didn't want to use it um, and I had never used it before. However, I do have some shimmers from hip dot and they are in this Face by Kareem palette. Can I just tell you like when this came out, I was elated, I was over the moon because I had been following Face by Kareem for a while. <laughs> Seeing that he was gonna have his own makeup palette, like super pigmented eyeshadows with Hip Dot no less. Hip Dot is like kind of iconic, honestly, like if I'm gonna be honest. No, they didn't, um, they didn't treat his launch very well. So keep him accountable. I mean, essentially they just kind of like continued with another launch like very shortly after this came out. So it was kind of like shady. Kareem's over it. I'm not over it, but you know, shit happens. I'm just really happy it got released. And so in this palette, it does come with one, two, three shimmers and they are pretty gorgeous. This one's just like a really nice, like bronze gold. If these shimmers are anything like the hip dot ones in the four pan, then period, I'm giving that away. So I'm gonna go outside of the Eco Tools brushes and just use this like flat end kind of brush that I use for shimmers. So I'm just gonna literally pat that onto the primer that I've created. It's like already looking amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Y'all. Sometimes like my mind is just period. All right, so now that you got your shimmer on, I can't get over this. I love it. So now we're just gonna kind of go back and like darken the sides just to like make it more intense and kind of help, you know, blend everything all together. So just, just do that. Ugh. Ugh. I can't get over myself right now. All right, so now I just need to add some mascara. Oh, and since I'm kind of like on a kick of sharing makeup tips, this is what you do. Throw your head back, get to the root of your eyelashes, shake it, and twist it away. And that is how you get your lashes coated evenly. Oh God, don't tell me I messed up. And then like a nice fiber mascara. I don't even know what they call it. It's like a fiber adding mascara on the bottom lashes. I feel like it adds this like cutesy effect, you know, to like the bottom lashes. It kind of makes your eyes like a little bit more doll-like. Oh, and the thing about mascara at the top one, it actually helps with the no liner because then it kind of like lines your eye with the mascara, the bottom, and then you need, you don't need eyeliner, so. 
All right, y'all, now this is one of my favorite parts of makeup is adding the lashes. The lashes. Ah, 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 ah. No, um, pretty psychotic. This is a brand you should know about. Why is that, Ayan? Well, Pretty Psychotic was actually the first brand to bring me onto their PR team, so I'm super, 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 super grateful for that. Their lashes, though, period. It, like, it cannot get more period than this. They have two styles right now. This is their Nebulita lash. And look at this packaging, look at this branding. Like, y'all, y'all could never. Y'all could never. It's all glittery and just luxurious. Like, and it's, ugh. And they last forever. They look amazing. They're 3D. I'm just so grateful for this brand and I'm so like astounded by them. And I just, they're the quality. Like, so, ugh, I cannot talk highly enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. <gasps> look at that. Do you see that? Look at this eye. Look at that eye. Bam. Ugh, I'm gonna do the other one. Y'all. Oh my God. I'm just gagged. <laughs> like my hair, it's like all curly now. Ugh, I love it, honestly. But y'all, these eyelashes, like look at that. This look just went from zero to a hundred. I mean, it was at like, it was at like 75. Now it's at a hundred, but you know, was, who's counting? These are also in the giveaway. There's these and a pair of Jinx. As you can see, they're a lot fuller. They're really long and they're just honestly also gorgeous. You can check them out on my Instagram page. I have a bunch of pictures with these on. So one of the bundles has two of these. <gasps> Ooh, we're talking about bundles now. We're getting closer. <laughs> just me checking myself out. You know, now that I look at it, this is definitely an Electra eye. If you saw my last video with Electra Wolf, she does her cut creases like this and I just noticed, wow. <gasps> Oh my God, I was just like subconsciously inspired. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my base makeup and we'll be right back so you can see the finished look. Ah. Voila. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't talk the whole time that I was doing my base makeup and you know when just like the saliva just kind of sits there and then you try to talk and it's like. <laughs> so we're almost finished. The last finishing touch I have to add is some of this Glam Light Lip Gloss. This is the Champurrado Lip Gloss. It came in my foodie box that I got in, uh, ooh, when was this? Like back in August, I think. Ugh, and I love Glam Light so much. I actually got their Street Taco Palette in that box. Y'all, this palette, it's amazing. They're all just, all the shimmers are amazing. The mattes are really blendable. And this is such a cute palette. It's like a taco, y'all. Like, and it has a mirror. I love it. Oh my God. Y'all should not sleep on Glam Light because Glam Light is making strides. They're also black owned and Latina owned. And this specific lip gloss is not in my giveaway, but I am giving away an Agua Fresca lip gloss. So it's the same formulation, just a different kind of tint. And it still has like glitters. Ugh. let me show you what this looks like. Ugh. okay. So I don't know if you can see, it's like a very light brown kind of color, but it's very shimmery. Ugh, I think it complements this look perfectly. There's like little pigment in it, so it won't be like so opaque. Ugh. Ugh. I just love makeup. I just love makeup. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, put my moño back on and we're gonna do a little montage. So um, be right back. So yes, this is the finished look. Oh my God, I had so much fun doing this video. I am so happy that I got to show you a little bit of what I do on an everyday basis with makeup. Granted, this cut crease is definitely not what I do every day, but maybe this is my new eye. This is just something soft and like neutral, maybe not so soft, but neutral. <laughs> well, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And actually, we're not done yet. We still have to get to the giveaway. <laughs> It's time. So as y'all might not know, I recently passed my 1,111 follower mark on my Instagram. And I thought I would do a massive, massive giveaway to say thank you and to just kind of like celebrate this momentous occasion in my career. Now I know that in the grand scheme of things, you know, a thousand plus followers is like, honestly, kind of nothing in the influencer world. But I think I have worked 
a lot this year to gain that. Um, at the very beginning of the year, I actually started off with, I think like, like 100-ish followers. So this just goes to show that hard work does pay off. And I really do want to give back to my community and to my followers and to all my friends, to all my baby achis. And so I wanted to do this giveaway of products that I really like and products that I've been collecting. And actually speaking of products that I love, there are two that I did not use in today's video. They are not makeup though. These are my two new Makeup Mariachi stickers. There's an OG matte style, and this is just like a nice vinyl durable matte sticker. And this vector art of myself was created by Miss Violet Bloom. It is insanely gorgeous. I could literally have not asked for a better logo. And we have this gorgeous hollow style that I actually kind of altered the original logo to make it like this. This art though, like Violet, period, just period. So these are both available on my new shop, themakeupmariachi.com slash shop. And three of you lucky viewers, lucky subscribers, lucky commenters will be receiving a pack of these each. So these are on my site as the Makeup Mariachi stickers, and both of these make up combo number one. So yes, two of you will be runner ups and two of you will get a pack of these stickers and you know, you can put them on your hydro flask, your water bottle, you know, make it look cute and show that you are a, an official baby achi. There's three of these total. Two of those will be for runner ups. One of them will be for the Instagram live and you'll have a chance to enter once that happens. More on that later. Now on to the grand prizes. I've actually completely packaged the prizes into their respective envelopes because I don't want to risk like contaminating. So they're kind of like in their own little quarantine right now. But I took some beautiful footage of them. Grand prize number three is the Hip Dot Care Package. And it includes two SpongeBob SquarePants X Hip Dot face sheet masks. It's SpongeBob's best face ever and Patrick's Spa Day. And it has that four pan press shimmer shadow palette that I told you about. It is called the Opulence Palette and it is gorgeous. And it also includes the exclusive Hip Dot X Face by Kareem brush set and pouch. So that brush set was actually part of the whole collection with Face by Kareem and Hip Dot. It included the palette, it included this gorgeous sponge, and would you believe it, it also included this gorgeous face mask. This is honestly like so stylish. Like look at this, whenever I go anywhere, everyone's like, ah, where'd you get your mask? And I'm like, Face by Kareem. So you'll get all that in the Hip Dot Care package and every single grand prize comes with a complimentary matte makeup mariachi sticker and a pin from Adelitas Apparel. Let me tell you a little bit about Adelitas. Adelitas is an immigrant owned online shop. Um, they're based out here in Los Angeles and they are two of the sweetest, sweetest human beings ever to grace this planet. I have honestly, since I found out about them, they have just been nothing but sweet and supportive and just like literally everything. They have so much on their shop. Go check them out. I'll link them down below. So every single grand prize will have one of these pins. Um, it's a moon pin because I love the moon. And yeah, go check them out. Adelitas is honestly amazing. And a lot of their proceeds go towards really important organizations such as Black Lives Matter and the DACA Fund. So you will know that you're doing good by buying from their store. So that's grand prize number three. On to grand prize number two. This is the black owned beauty bundle. So I've been making a really good effort at getting as much black owned beauty products and brands and collaborations as I can. Honestly, because representation matters. I really wanna showcase that in this bundle that I have here as a prize. So like I mentioned earlier, you'll be getting two of the Pretty Psychotic Lashes, the Nebulita and the Jinx Lash. You'll be getting the Beauty Bakery Sophisticated Concealer Brush, which is one of my all time favorites. And you'll be getting the Agua Fresca Glam Light Lip Gloss, which is Ugh, honestly, like I'm so jealous. And of course, you'll also be getting a Makeup Mariachi matte sticker and the Adelita's moon pin. Now, onto the big boy, grand prize number one. This is the cruelty-free cosmetics crate. It's really important that we stop animal testing and that we stop using just animals, period, in makeup. Cause it's like, like it's just not cool anymore. So, in the cruelty-free cosmetics crate, you'll be getting an e.l.f. putty eye primer in the color rose literally one of my all time favorites, one of my holy grails. Like this is a makeup mariachi holy grail, like period. You'll be getting the eye enhancing duo set of the dual sided brushes from Eco Tools. You'll be getting a pack of these Bliss Makeup Melt wipes. Like I said earlier, these wipes are literally a dream. I'm just so sad because I love these wipes so much. I want an endless supply, please. Bliss, if you see this, it'll grow up. And of course, you'll be receiving the Makeup Mariachi OG Matte Sticker and the Adelita's and Moon Pin. But the big crowning 
centerpiece of this bundle, of this crate, is the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. This palette is 30 shades, a whole range of nudes, warm neutrals with shimmers, and some of them I think are even ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, which is just, ugh, it's just an amazing formula. I actually got it in a bundle with their new Stone Cold Fox palette. Now this is not the Bare Necessities palette, but look at this. This is a cool dream. I, ugh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but which is a good thing because if it was any bigger, I feel like I just would not be able to have it out on my table. And that's it, those are all the prizes. Now, here's the most important part, is how to enter. So what you gotta do, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Then you go to Instagram, check out the giveaway post on my Instagram, at the Makeup Mariachi, it will be linked down below. And what you gotta do is share it to your story, tag me at the Makeup Mariachi, and use hashtag the Makeup Mariachi. Once you do that one thing, then you come back here, comment done and your Instagram at, your username for those of you that don't speak in the internet. And that's it, that is your entry. You can have one entry per joint Instagram YouTube accounts. That's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. And then I enter your name. I'm gonna write it on a piece of paper and then I'm gonna do a live drawing on November 21st at 1111 p.m. PST. And in that Instagram live is where I will be announcing the winners and one of you lucky ones will have a chance to enter during that live to win a makeup mariachi a sticker set. So when can you enter? Well, if you're watching this video right now, that means that entries are open. You have until November 18th at 11.11 11 p.m. PST to enter. After that, no entries will be accepted. So make sure you enter. If you need to make some more accounts, just like, you know, don't tell, don't, don't tell anyone that I told you that, but you know, if you really want that palette. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. This contest is open to all humans residing in the US 50 states and the District of Columbia. And the only thing is you must be 18 or older at the time of entering to enter. So that is all you gotta do. I wish you so, so much luck and thank you for watching this video. It's been a long time since I've made a video. So it's really nice to be in front of the camera again with my new setup. And I just, it just feels great. You know, I just, this is what I was meant to do. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to keep an open mind and an open heart. I'll see you next time, baby achis.